Welcome to a Fashion Doll Shoes tutorial. This time I'm going to do some painting. I have here uh, resin castings. These are for Monster High dolls. I'm using this leg from Create a Monster doll because it's it's easier than making castings of the doll's foot. So, oh. yeah, it's, yeah, you can see that's how it looks unpainted. Now these are made using a general master, which means that these are the same for both foot, there's no left and right, it's just this round shape. And that's because I made these using a silicone mold, and silicone is expensive, so I didn't want to make two molds for the same design, so I decided to use a general shape. So it's one mold is enough. And what else have I got here? Of course the paint. This is enamel paint. This is the best for painting resin. If you're painting plaster castings it's better to use acrylic paint. But for resin this is best. And it's looks a bit dubious. I haven't opened this for a long time, so I have no idea if it's still usable. I can only hope. And this isn't here for painting. This is going to be base for these pieces, so I'm going to attach them to this plastic cup so they will be easy to paint. And this is solvent for cleaning the brush afterwards. And it's it's not normally this color. This is used. Here is, let's see. You can see it, it's mineral turpentine and it's clear when it's clean but as it's a hazardous waste I try to avoid needing to dispose it so this looks so clean because I have just transferred it to a new container the old container looks like this it's really nasty uh, the thing is, the paint, if, if you don't shake the container, the paint will fall to the bottom. And this has been used for quite some time. And there's about this much paint here in the bottom. So I just, after the last time I painted something, I have transferred the solvent to a new container. And now I'm letting this paint here dry and then it's normal waste and doesn't require any special measures. The main thing, thing to remember with all sorts of solvents is that you cannot pour them down a drain. It's These are toxic and the chemical processes at water treatment plants are not designed to remove solvents from water. So if this gets into the wastewater, it's going to cause problems. So you need to be careful how you dispose of it. And I guess the local regulations vary, but we have these delivery points where you can take stuff like this and then they will take care of it. 
and then I will this this is my tool for opening these cans and mixing the paint and then I have double-sided mounting tape that's for attaching these to this plastic cup and this is clear tape and the reason I'm using this clear one there's also white mounting tape but that's not not nearly as good as this clear one because it's really hard to separate the pieces when you use the white mounting tape because it tears easily. This one just stretches and if it tears, it tears this way and not the, the white one. It's, it's a bit like foam and then it's one, one half of it will remain on one surface and the other on the other surface and it's hard to remove but this one it's it can be removed and it doesn't leave any glue behind the only thing is if you put this in painted surface or something like that it will strip the paint off so you need to be careful idea with this one is that I'm putting it into layers like this and then put it here in this horizontal part of the sole and then touching it here and now I can paint all these sides and the bottom and the painted parts won't touch anything because this this part doesn't need to be painted the insole is going to be glued there and of course I'll need to attach that one too it's it's easier to remove this protective layer first and then cut cut this into two pieces like this and And then I'm putting it here on the opposite side. And now they are both ready for painting. And one thing you need to remember with resin castings is that if, especially with the ones you make using silicone molds, is that you need to wash off the wax or form separating agent you use when casting the pieces because it's the paint will attach better when you do that first okay and then we'll see what's in here if this is still usable and if not I'll just have to change the color and that's tight. Okay, now it opens. Whoop. And just mix it a bit. Yeah. That's quite nice. Yeah. As you can see, it's not dry and it's not even too thick. It's just right. And then I'll just. I don't bother cleaning this with the solvent.
details the paper will take away enough of the paint and then I'll just first coat. The first coat is really, it's basically a primer. It's not going to be even. You just need to paint all the sides to get a surface where the second coat will then attach. And the second coat will be it will look a lot better and usually it depends on on the color if you're using regular colors it's possible that two layers are enough but with these metallic colors you usually need at least three layers it's really just paint as many layers as you need to to make it look right Bottoms are not not quite even. There are some air bubble holes there, but nobody's going to see those because they are at the bottom. Okay, that's the first layer, and it's going to take about six hours for that to dry enough to apply the second layer and then trying to get this closed but it, it won't go and at this point it's a good idea to turn it upside down so the paint will fill any gaps there might be and it it will seal the seal the can so the paint inside won't dry. And then I'm removing first the excess paint and then then the rest. I guess there could be better methods of doing this because this always leave some of the paint in the brush but I don't like like this stuff I guess you could also use acetone for cleaning the brushes but that's even nastier stuff than this turpentine because they both smell awful, but acetone evaporates more quickly and you don't want to breathe it in. It, it doesn't do any good to your nose or lungs. But now I'm going to wait for paint to dry and then continue later. It's been a couple of days since I painted this and I've been busy with other things so I didn't have time to continue but now I'm going to paint the second coat 
and I notice there are some some places that need to be sanded but I'm going to paint the second coat first and when that's dry I'll do the sanding and then paint the third coat which hopefully will be the final one but if it doesn't look good enough then it's the fourth one and maybe maybe even fifth it all depends on how it looks this these metal metal colors have a tendency to be uneven so it, it may take some work to get a nice surface and the thing I've been busy with all my free time is the book I'm writing I don't remember if I have mentioned it but I'm writing a book about all this doll shoe making so the stuff I've written about in the blog and what I'm showing in these videos I'm writing a book to get get the information presented in an organized manner because the the blog is although it's a nice way to show things it can be really easy to find anything specific in the postings so the book will have it all in in structured manner so you can actually find things in it and I'm writing totally new descriptions and taking new photos it's taking time because at the moment I've got about 17,000 words and 150 photos and that's probably about 70% of the contents so it's I'm writing it in MS Word and it's got 125 pages no, 130 actually at the moment so it's probably going to be something like well 160, 170 pages like 25,000 words and don't know how many pictures close to 200 maybe the problem is that as it's going to be an ebook available through Amazon, there are some restrictions and I'm having a bit of a problem with the photos because I want to include as many photos as I can, but there are size limits to those books. So I already had to limit the scope of the book. So it's it's going to be only about making shoes. It won't include boots. I will have to see about that later. Right now I'm only concerned about getting the book finished. It's when I started, I I wasn't planning anything like how it's turning out. I was going to write a short 
short book short and simple and all the time when I write I find out oh this needs to be included that needs to be included and I must tell this and I must tell that and there's all the time new things that just need to be included and it's getting longer and longer and ho hopefully it will get ready someday well my ultimate deadline is the end of the year but I really am planning to finishing it much sooner but we'll see I'll keep you updated on how it goes but that's the situation at the moment and now those souls can wait for the paint to dry and then it'll be a bit of sanding and more painting and I think that'll be all for this video because uh, making the uppers will take quite a lot of time so it's better to put that in another video so I'm making this in two parts.